We had our one feeder band move through, which is why we had that tornado warning. Second feeder band is about to make its way into the Gulf Coast, which is something we are going to have to watch very closely. Do you want to give you a quick update with Adalia? It still is a category four hurricane with winds of 130 miles per hour. Iowa has closed. It's very close to making landfall between uh, Dixie and Taylor County. Levy County not looking like a landfall at this point, but it's very close to making landfall. There's the eye on the radar from our satellite picture. The eye wall is closed on our radar picture. It's still going. It still has some lightning in this and heavy rainfall, so it has not made landfall yet, but it will make landfall very soon. So here's that first outer rain band that we were tracking with that uh, couple of tornado warnings earlier on this morning. No active warnings right now. Second rain band is now working into the Gulf Coast and starting to work into portions of Marion County. And these rain bands are really going to be tricky and something that we need to watch very closely because these are going to pop up very tight areas of rotation. You really need to uh, look at the radar and, and, and picture what is going to happen. We can see some darker shading, some bright red shadings. We don't have the typical green and red together, but we have those darker and bright red shadings, meaning that there is some rotation. So watching that radar very closely. Marion County, Danella, your wind, your rain is now picking up. Ocala, Anthony, pretty much dry for now. A couple of showers in your direction. And then it's just spotty showers in between those two rain bands for Sumter Lake. Polk County and then from Osceola County east of Kissimmee around St. Cloud, Kenansville, up, up towards central Orange County, uh, Seminole County, as well as uh, Volusia County. We're looking at rain in your direction. Tropical downpours. While it doesn't look like it is heavy on radar, it is heavy. But the batch behind that, Eric, we're going to have to watch which the reason why is a tornado warning or a tornado potential that we're going to watch for over the next uh, several hours. Oh, 100% and the National Weather Service, the Storm Prediction Center, everybody's on board, which is why we did just get a brand new tornado watch for our entire coverage area up to the north all the way into Georgia. That goes until 3 o'clock this afternoon, just meaning that at least for now, we've got a few more areas uh, and a few more hours of potential rotation in the atmosphere. Now they'll shave it off little by little as applicable, but basically because of where we are, we're in the right front quadrant of this storm system, which means that we are in that ripened area for the potential for rain wrap tornadoes. We saw shear at the very least across parts of Osceola, Orange and Seminole counties this morning uh, running to the tune of 65, 70 miles an hour, and they're usually weaker tornadoes, but 65, 70 miles an hour will still do damage. So that's definitely one of those pieces we'll have to watch. There's the hurricane itself. There are those feeder bands from the wider perspective. So for the day today, we just have to watch. Now, here's a look at our rotation product on Futurecast. Most of the shear is going to be out west, but there's still little pockets of shear around our area. You can see through 10 o'clock and then 11, 12 o'clock, that shear begins to lessen as the storms move out. But let's look at Futurecast, okay? This is 7 o'clock this morning. There's that next band. Intense downpours, gusty winds, heavy downpours. Uh, and uh, really and truly, it's going to be the potential for rotation. That's our biggest concern. 8, 9, 10 o'clock, though. Notice the vibrant yellows and oranges start to cool a bit and we're looking more into the yellows and reds. And by lunchtime or so, it's just gusty showers that move through. And by 5, 6 o'clock, we're looking better and better. So 12-hour forecast showing the worst of the weather this morning, but better stuff into the afternoon and evening.